Hello well, guys, Captain Alex Mason here. We're going to be playing Call of Duty Finest Hour Mission 13. This is the American campaign now. Any second now. My name is Chuck Walker. I've been attached to the First Army, the Big Red One, for a long time now. I fought in North Africa and Sicily. I landed in Normandy on D-Day. Every day I fight to save my life and the lives of my men. I'm proud we're on the front lines. I know none of us are going home until the Germans surrender completely, and we want to be right there when it happens. That's why Aachen is so important. It's time to take this fight right to Germany, where it began. This isn't about medals or honor. Those things don't matter when you're fighting for your life. This is about winning the war. And fighting with the Big Red One has taught me you win a war by surviving it. And that means killing the Germans before they kill me. So it's then Sergeant Chuck Walker and then Corporal Benny Church. <laughs> Church. If only this were red versus blue. This is it! We're taking Aachen today. The Germans in the town square are cut off from their command and control. But those old buildings are solid enough to resist shelling. Orders are to escort the M12 to the town square, clearing buildings of German resistance on the way. Once we're inside the city hall, the M12 will blow the some bitch to pieces. Stay close behind the tank for cover and protect them from German anti-armor. We lose the Shermans and we're all dead. Let's saddle up and get it done. Sarge, some of those old buildings are too fortified for the tanks to take out. What are we going to do about it? Relax, Benny. We're going to knock them all down. Oh, give me a moment. Yeah, that's decent. Where are you going? Stay behind the tank! lost because I can't see anything. Well, I guess we cleared it out. Oh god. I'm stuck! Church. I'm caboose. God. 
The bomb! Okay, seriously. How the hell do I get lost? It's so fucking dark now. Kind of multitasking a bit. I'm playing um, a guy. I'm watching a guy's video on this because I honestly have haven't seen the gameplay for this. And I honestly, the reason why I'm doing this is because I have to be a little more precautious in this game because, well, with it being a little shy of giving me um, uh, was it freebies, and the fact that um, I have I can't like regenerate this machine's health, the M12 that they're talking about, um, I kind of have to end my own health, uh, so I have to find the best and precautious way to finish this mission, because otherwise it's going to be a dick, and then I won't be able to actually beat the game. But on the plus side, we're almost done with the game completely, and then I can, or not quite completely, because the last thing I have to do on this game is player determined and easter eggs. Now player determined is not going to be my favorite thing to do. Because there's one guy and he just so happens to be in the one mission that I do not like. And that was the mission I was trying to beat before I got to raiding the fortress. On the plus side, I've got two days of school left. And I also have one more PlayStation 2 game to buy, and that's World at War Final Fronts. So it looks like, according to this, all I had to do is just take out the Panzer's cracks standing out in the wide open. try it myself and then just work my way from there because I don't ow fucking point me in the right direction bitch well, I suck balls the damn thing forward. Well. Alright, so I'm not going to complain about that one as much because at least I know what to look for. I just hope that this game doesn't be a dick and start me at the very... Yeah, of course it did. Well, fuck you. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You know what? 
Instead, why don't we just let him sit here, let these tanks clear out the town, then have it move up when we're ready. Instead, it moves up, you know, logic. You gotta love it. I also need to know how to get health packs in this game because health packs are def are extremely scarce right now. Well oh, god damn it! Take this fucker out. Thank you. Look at how bad my health is already. Die, you piece of shit. Well, then. Again, though, this game doesn't tell me exactly where to find the stupid health pit. The health packs. To be honest, I prefer Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1's health system because. Regardless, like, I know for a fact that they still have the same thing like this, but at least it's a lot easier to navigate, and they put them around a lot more than this game ever did. They're a little more generous, I'll give them that. Okay, why does it say friendly if I'm getting shot at by the MG? Charge! So no hiccup as I! Oh god damn it, you piece of shit. Oh, what the hell? Seriously? I had the same problem before where I hit the guy but it didn't count. Okay, there better be health in this stupid... I got stuck in the dark room. I hate this dark room. Throw a grenade in there. Move, bitch. Move! God, I'll shoot you for court martial. Yeah, I know for a fact that there's a health pack in this building. Nope, I got lost in the deep void. What the hell? There was a health kit up here. Douchebag. Oh, come on! Oh, God. 
damn it. I finally... Uh, I need better. This game needs a better system. Also, I can't see shit. Fix your stinking brightness game. And you do your job then, Corporal, and maybe I won't have to shoot ya. Jesus. Wow, you still haven't taken out that gun. Good job, Sherman. Good job. Again, why are you moving forward? Why don't you just wait till we clear this position? Damn it. It makes my job a hell of a lot easier. Oh god. Yeah, maybe I wouldn't have to do half this. Get out of the way, Parker. I'm really sorry guys I'm not I haven't I know I have I'm starting to get better at it but the game is still difficult as balls I'm not going to lie what is it? I said throw a grenade! You know what? Maybe I need that. Maybe I should take that. I feel like I shouldn't though. But what choice do I have? I also want to be hit with the kids, so that I'm bringing my boomstick along. Ah, God. Lead the way, Shermans. I got a feeling. I can't save on. Uh, for the love of Craig. Maybe you should do something about it, dipshit. How am I still taking fucking damage? Never mind that. How the hell are they? How are you still taking damage? That is not fair. Okay, I shot you, for the record. Alright, well, it's uh, it's pretty clear that this mission's going to be the next hard one, so I'm just... I'm not going to do it yet. I'm, I'm just going to quit. I mean, getting past one hard mission's enough for me. But, especially with the fact that this game, like... You guys know what I mean, right? The game says checkpoint reached after you get one of your objectives done. But it really doesn't. It should get you, it should, if you die, leave you off from your last objective. However, it's making me start at the very beginning of the mission, regardless of how far I am in, into the level. Like, if I'm towards the end and I die, I have to replay everything. It's like it's Spec Ops. So...
I'm taking a break. I honestly kind of wish now that I bought the GameCube version of this, because at least you could see. But I at least got my goal. I just want to see what changed. This is what threw me off. I was like wondering why I couldn't get past the mission I was telling you guys about. It was like the one where you have to burn all the oil drums. I couldn't get past it. I was like, why can't I get past this? I beat the game. I beat this part already. And then I look at my options because I thought maybe I, I could change, you know, the control settings for this. It turns out I had it on medium mode. And I was like, I had like a moment of silence and then I just was like so mad that I actually did flip something. It wasn't a table, but I did flip something. It wasn't a bird either. So, um, yeah. I'm Captain Alex Mason. I'll see you guys with some more stuff. I'm probably going to go back to, uh, find it, or not find a sour. I like some Big Red 1 because that seems to be the easiest game right now. Plus, I can play it without any difficulty really compared to Finest Hour, which was the third Call of Duty game made. Like the third installment officially, but it was made by Grey Matter Studios, which is. which merged to become Treyarch. But this isn't a Treyarch game. So, anyway. I'm going to end it right about now.